Hi, this is Karen at Snickerdoodle Designs, and today we're going to take a look at six ways to duplicate an object in Photoshop, and these work in Photoshop as well. We're all unique. Our brains process knowledge differently than others might process the same information, and we all have our own preferences when it comes to creativity and work habits. I don't know if Adobe built into Photoshop multiple ways to accomplish the same task because they know we all think differently, or if it was just a happy coincidence. But either way, I'm glad that there are multiple ways to do the same thing in Photoshop. It makes it really easy for us to select our favorite way of doing things. So today, let's go ahead and take a look at six different ways to copy an object in Photoshop. And this can be a photograph, a scrapbook kit element, just anything. When we first start working with Photoshop or Photoshop Elements, it's really hard to remember all of the shortcuts. So I think probably the easiest thing to do for uh, people that are first starting out is just go up to Image and Duplicate. And now you get the option to rename this or Photoshop does rename it for you and click OK. Now it does duplicate the object outside of your document, so you will have to click on it and pull it over to your document, but that's the easiest way if you can't remember shortcuts. Um, method number two is to, in your layers panel, panel, click on the layer you would like to duplicate, right click, and choose duplicate in the flyout menu. Again, it asks you to uh, rename it if you like and you can do that right here click OK now with this method Photoshop does add the a duplicated uh, flower on the same document so that makes that a really handy method let's go ahead and get rid of that method number three um, let me put on a little magnifier here because it's kind of hard to see but when you're holding down the alt key Click on the layer that you would like to duplicate, left click, and drag up. When you get to the very top of that layer, you will see the, that line in between there. Let me move this over here. I think it might be a little easier to see. Well, it copied. <laughs> well, let me get rid of that so I can do that one more time. A little closer here. Hold down your Alt key and drag up. And when you get to the top of that line, you'll see the line between at the very top of that layer just get a little darker. When it does that, let go of your mouse, let go of Alt, and it will copy for you. Sometimes that takes a little practice, so if it doesn't work the first time, just try it again. We'll get rid of that duplicated layer. Method number four, hold down the Alt key left click on the object within your document and just drag it. And that's a super way, easy way to do it too. If I click on the show transform tools and do that again, those transform tools are there and I can very easily resize that right away. And that's a really nice method if you're going to make duplicate flowers and want to resize them quickly. So I'll commit that take my transform tools off and toss that one away. Okay, uh, method number five. In the layers panel, check on, click on the layer you would like to duplicate and just drag it down to create a new layer. In Photoshop, that is right here. And there we go. And in Photoshop Elements, the create a new layer is right up here in your layers panel. We'll get rid of that one. And then one of the easiest things to remember is just Control J. Click on the layer you'd like to copy, Control J, and it duplicates it. I think if you, as I said, want to duplicate a flower multiple times, for instance, and want to resize the flower using the method where you can just click and drag within the document, having your show transform tools on, so you can easily resize. It's probably one of the easiest things to do. Of course, you can go ahead and rotate that as well. But you find out what works best for you or try all the methods and see how you like them. 
Thanks for stopping by and I hope you found this helpful.